Hi class, this is me, Mr. Wee. So we're going to continue off from where we left on in class. So one of the examples that was on the board is now here, and we're going to write an equation for this once we figure out what the heck kind of a what the heck kind of equation or function this graph represents. So we're going to do the first differences test and see if they are going up by the same amount as we go from left to right. This would be, I think this subtracts 14. This is a subtraction of 10, 8 is negative 6, and negative 2, or minus 2. And those are not the same differences. Let's go for the second one, and it seems like negative 4 to negative 10 would be you added 4, this you added 4, then this you added 4. So it looks like the second differences test does pass. Second differences pass, or test passes. So this is a quadratic formula, quadratic. So how you would solve for this is, let's go back to the original uh, formula, which is y equals ax squared, a times x squared plus bx plus c. <sighs> OK. Um, and for this here, uh, let's see, for your C, this should just be your y-intercept. And it looks like it's going to be 0, so you don't have to worry about this. And let's see. What you're supposed to do at this point is you're going to look specifically at y is equal to a x squared. Oops. To solve what A is going to be, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take any point on here that you've that's already uh, written. So I'm going to take negative 2 and 1. X equals XY coordinate of negative 2 comma, I'm sorry, it's a negative 1 comma 2, okay? And we're going to plug this into here to find out A. So we're going to plug in any random point in here, which for which this will be contained with this. Okay, so it's going to be ax squared. So you're going to put in uh, in place of neg or x squared, it's going to be negative 1 squared, and then y is going to be 2. So you're going to have 2 is equal to 2 times 1a, and then 2 is equal to 1, 2a. Okay, so now your equation, so a is now going to be equal to 2. Your final equation should be a is equal to 2x squared. Okay. <sighs> the last type of problem, or the last problem that we're going to look over is the last one that we did in the board to check to see what type of uh, function this is. This is negative 3 to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. 0 0.375, this is 0 0.75, this is 1.5, this is 3, and this is 6. Let's do the first differences test really quick, just to double check. This is an addition of 0 0.375, this is an addition of 0 0.75, this is an addition of 1.5, and this is an addition of 6. So if you think about it, each of these gaps here has something going on, because it seems like it's even doubling, so if you do from here to here, it's an addition of 0 0.375. This is an addition of 0 0.75. Again, this is an addition of, uh, what is it, uh, plus 1.5. So it's not second or uh, first game. I'm sorry. So this is a, not a second or first differences test pass. So we're going to try one more thing, which is to see if there's ratios between 0 0.375, 0 0.75, 1.5, 3, and 6. Let's take the top, let's take the second number and divide it by that. That gives me 2. Let's take 1.5 divided by 0 0.7. That gives me 2. Let's take 3 divided by 2, and that's 1.5. 1. Or sorry, 3 divided by 1.5, that's 2. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So it looks like the ratio test. 
test does pass, so therefore this equation, I'm sorry, uh, this This formula table is exponential. And how do we find the equation for this? Okay, so first thing you're going to do is rewrite uh, the original equations A, or the general formula for exponentials A times BX. And then B is actually you've already solved for it, that's what you are multiplying your, each of your inputs by each time times 2. So your b is going to be equal to 2. And then to find out a, all you have to do is pick any point up here and plug it back into here for the x, y. So any x, y coordinate would work. I'm going to put 0, 3, 0, comma 3. So you're going to have y is equal to, or y is basically 3 now, is equal to a times b, which is 2 times to the 0 power. And that's going to be 3 is equal to a times 1, which is 3. a is equal to 3. So in his vernacular, a is equal to 3. Or, um, sorry, I'm all over the place, guys. So that's going to be 3. And then the final uh, equation is going to be uh, y is equal to 3 times 2 to the x power. Oh, 2 to the x power. Okay. There's that, and that's it. So please watch the video on 2-7, and that's all I have for you guys. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much. Guys, have a good day. Bye.